Today we're reading Isaiah 6 and 7. And chapter 6 begins with Isaiah's calling and preparation to be God's spokesman to his people. And there's a specific process the Lord uses to get Isaiah ready for this enormous challenge. First, the Lord reveals himself to Isaiah as the king continually worshiped by angelic beings, declaring his holiness. Next, experiencing God's holiness brought Isaiah to his knees and gave him a deep understanding of the sin that separated him from God. Then, in the realization of this great divide and Isaiah's recognition that he couldn't bridge it on his own, the Lord atoned for Isaiah's sin when the seraphim placed the coal from the altar on Isaiah's lips. It's a very familiar story, and I believe it has great significance for you and I today. And here's the thing. It was only after going through this process that Isaiah was prepared to offer himself in service to the Lord. I believe it's a process God still uses today. See, it's only through you and I comprehending God's holiness, our own sinfulness, and God's atonement for our sins through the blood of Jesus that we are adequately prepared to be used by God. God has a plan for your life and for my life, but it's only after we come to an end of ourselves that we are ready and willing to represent the Lord to others. But it's really more than just a process. It's called the Great Commission, given by Jesus and recorded for us in Matthew 28. It's what God has called us to do in this world. We go, we make disciples, we baptize them, and we teach them. And then prepared, just like Isaiah was, and just like you and I were, they go and they do the same thing. But here's the question. How are we doing? How am I doing with the calling God has placed on my life to share the good news of Jesus Christ? Let me encourage you as I encourage myself today. Ask God every day to prepare you and give you the opportunity to share what he's done in your life. Let's keep the ball rolling. Let's fulfill our calling to advance the gospel in our world today, because Jesus is coming back soon.